Good morning. It's Monday morning. Clinic's open. We're coming at you here live from the clinic. And today's question is to ask the chiropractor. As I was recently asked by somebody out in the public, how do I know when, I, when it's time for me to go to a chiropractor? How does one know when it's time to start becoming a chiropractic patient? I also get asked, how do I know when I'm supposed to call you and come in when I'm an existing patient? So let me try to answer two for one today. One, um, how do I know to come in when I'm an existing patient? I usually tell people when you when you haven't been feeling right for one day and it carries on to the next day. That's a good reason. We all have a bad day, but it's a bad day followed by a worse day or equally as bad day. That's something's a new way of getting better. And that's the reason to give us a call and come on in early. Um, next question is, the first question is, um, how do I know when I should come in and become a chiropractic patient? What, how do I know that I'm a candidate for chiropractic care? What, what, what is it that determines that I should come in to start care? Well, the answer to that question is pretty easy. It's um, if your health hasn't been there where it's supposed to be. If you've been struggling with health issues, you, your health hasn't been, you're not hitting your health goals, you feel like you've had a hurdle or something that's kind of blocking the way for you to get better, it's time to give us a call. Uh, the longer you wait, the longer you, you know, maybe this will go away in a couple of days. Maybe this will go away in a couple of weeks. I'm not sure what to do here. The longer you wait, the longer it's going to take to get the results you want. So coming in sooner than later is a good way to do it. Uh, we look at you very objectively when you come in and we take x-rays of you. We do an examination and we see what's going on. So when you come in, well, that's how we determine whether you should be here or not. And you know what, if you come in, and you're not sure if you make a good chiropractic patient or not, and we think your x-rays would do the exam, and we don't find nothing on you, we help guide you to the place you need to be. So we do help guide you the way you're supposed to be instead and help you out. That's the nice thing about working with the ice hogs. So I always forget the solid science over here, is that we've made a lot of uh, friends in this area with other physicians that we can help work with directly. So that's kind of um, how do I know when I'm supposed to come in? Uh, if you've had discomfort for more than one day or it's getting worse, give us a call. If you've never been to a chiropractor before, how do you know when it's time to come in? If you've reached a major hurdle in your health, like you've been trying a lot of different things to get better and you've been you've been at it trying to get healthier and better and you're just not getting there, uh, there's an obstacle in your way. And we call that a subluxation here as chiropractors. Your spine's misaligned and it's causing nerve interference, which is not allowing you to express your fullest health. We look at that, we get right to the bottom of it. And again, very addictively, we have x-rays and exams that help us discover that. I hope I answered your question. If you have a question, let us know. You know, shoot us a message, send us an email, give us a call. And maybe next time your question will be the question of the week. All right. Talk to you real soon. Goodbye, everybody.